James, new season about to start, 2017, new coach, some new players. Give us a bit of background as to, first of all, accepting the role. What do you want to do in the role? And what were your thoughts behind assembling the squad? Yeah, um, I think, you know, first off, it was a good opportunity for me to come back back to ones that uh, last time I was here, maybe didn't didn't do as well as I wanted to. I, I think, you know, I, in, in my time here, I, I thought I could have done a, a little bit more. Um, and coming back to to give something back to the club was was a, a great opportunity and something that I couldn't I couldn't turn down. Um, in terms of the squad that we've put together, obviously we, we've set a budget um, and we had a, a squad of uh, you know basis of a squad which was really good from from last season. Um, I think what we've tried to do is we've tried to include players who are looking to develop and, and, and progress from where they are. Uh, you know, younger players and, and put together a team which can can you know grow with the club uh, off the field. What about your coaching setup? Because you brought some new bodies in there as well. You've got Steve Deakin, who's an experienced coach, and you've got people like Rob Roberts and Mark Cass. Um, I think you know from from what was already in place. I think the, there was a limited number of bodies that, available to help at training, and it, it makes things difficult. So, you know, my, my first thought was there wasn't enough people involved. Thought we needed more more people involved and more hands on deck. Um, <coughs> First, first point of call was was Deeks, and I spoke to Deeks before I accepted the job, and I made sure that within the club's budget that they could take take both of us, and that was a really important part of part of the decision to come. Um, Deeks has been out of the game for a couple of years, but I mean his his record is second to none. You know, he's won Challenge Cups, he's won Championships uh, at Championship level and Championship One level. Um, Two championships in France, so you know you, you can't you can't deny the quality of coach that Deeks is, and that it's been great for me to have him uh, to bounce ideas off. And you know sometimes you're struggling with things, you need a little bit of help and information, and maybe picking a team apart, and uh, Deeks is there, there to help. Um, Cass obviously is long-standing servant for the club. He's been here a while now, and I don't think it would have been fair to to even think about moving Cass on. Cass was part. of his coaching team at Oldham when I played there so it was a good fit a good fit for him to be be involved um, Cass can't always can't always make training with work commitments so you know that's the reason we brought two bobs in so we've got a head coach and an assistant coach and then you know two two you know, assistant coaches who take it in turns to, to make sure that they're at training so we've always got three bodies to, to cover our sessions Pre-season's always difficult, especially when you've got a, a new <coughs> squad or integrating, in, integrating new players. Uh, what have you tried to do over that, that pre-season, bearing in mind that the weather always affects things that, that you can do? Um, I, I think first off we've got to build a mentality and a, and a work ethic that uh, is good enough to, to compete at this level. Um, I think without that, any system or any style of play that we want to introduce won't, won't work. And that's that's the first thing that we've tried to do is instill a discipline and a you know a desire to work hard for each other uh, in the squad. That, that was our first first port of call. Um, on top of that, we, we're just encouraging learning and, and, and development and all the little things that the players need to improve on, and really trying to encourage them to be hard on each other to do that. Um, pre-season games came along um, and always difficult when you've got new players <coughs> in there and just trying to find out what people can do what they've taken on board and such but what did you get out of the, those matches? Oh, I think we got a lot out of every game that we played in um, we, we didn't get any results uh, but we said before them games that the result didn't didn't affect us going forward so you know we can't then afterwards go back and say oh well, we should have won that game um, we were clear to the boys that we wanted uh, you know, specific areas to, to be improved each week when we played we had key areas that we identified as weaknesses from last season that we needed to improve on and they were the focus of, of our performances in them games I think you know, Featherstone are a really good team uh, <coughs> they, they're going to do that to, to plenty of sides this year in, in the division above so you know we can't really reflect on the scoreline there and we can't really take anything about where we're at from that game again Leeds with a, a team you know, 50% young lads and 50% Super League players you, you've got a really like inconsistent standard uh, across their team never mind it throughout the game uh, they had a lot of young lads with a lot of experience but they also had some players who played in grand finals so it's difficult again to say what standard 
that that team was actually at so we can't really take too much out of that game and then uh, the final game we uh, we didn't prepare uh, I won't say we didn't prepare well enough we prepared in a different way than what we would do for a normal game you know we left a lot of onus on the boys to show us what they'd learned and we didn't really give them any specific information going into the into the match we picked a good team um, and we, we let the boys show us what they, they've learned and what they could do and and we had some real improvements in the areas that we we talked about in that week, you know, defensively. In the wrestle was one of the areas, our body position on the floor and things like that, and that was pretty good. Uh, but we fell down in other areas, you know, and effectively cost us, cost us the game. There, there does seem to be a, a difference, and if we look at Championship, there's a lot of teams from uh, from, from Lancashire or, or the, the other side of the Pennines that are doing really well. Is there a different style of playing across there, or is there something that that, that prepares them a little bit more than than across here? It's just Lancashire blokes are tougher. Than Lancashire blokes. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I don't. I don't think. I don't. I don't think he does. You know, you've got OKR okay in that in that competition, there, and uh, they'll be right up there at the top. London will be up there at the top. Um, Batley will be there at the top. So, I think you know, the, <coughs> there's, there's there's good teams all over the country. Um, I don't think there's any difference in in style of play. I think you just the systems that people come through may be a little bit different. You know, you've got a lot of Wigan Wigan based players who will come through Wigan system and then filter out into different teams. Um, that'll have an influence. You've got obviously Warrington who's going really well as well, and that they'll have the same sort of effect. So it's maybe them two two teams. But apart from that, I don't think there is much difference or, or much difference in the standard. I think it's just the the teams on the day maybe getting the better of their opponent so we start on Sunday we've got a League <coughs> 1 Cup we've got um, Newcastle um, a lot of teams have been doing quite a bit of recruitment this year um, we know that we've got a really tough match away at Toronto and, and everybody's tip for, for going straight through the, the division uh, is Toronto with a lot of ex-Super League players what, what are your aims for, for this year and, and where do you expect to be Put you on the spot. We, we've got, we've got, a, you know, the club set a goal of the top four finish, which is, you know, that's what we, as a performance team, have got to try and try and reach. Um, we haven't collectively set any goals as yet. You know, we'll probably set some goals before the first game of the year when we, we've got a better idea of where where we're up to. Um, I think anything outside that top four, we we probably have underachieved. I think we can achieve. You know, a position in that, or be, be close to pushing for a position in that top four. Um, but yeah, well, actually, we were still learning a lot about each other. We're still learning a lot about you know the coaching staff and the way that we want to play. And I think we're a couple of months off even knowing what our best best seventeen is. You can't you can't say that at this stage. It's it's too much, too many variables, too many things change, too many you know learns that we've got to get in the next the next few weeks. So. Yeah, I wouldn't like to say right now. You know, we're going to win the comp. You know, that would be, it'd be, it'd be, it's not achievable really um, with the teams that are in there. But we, we want to finish strong. We want to finish as high as we can. First two matches are cup matches, so it's a, a one-off <coughs> of those games. Uh, do you prepare any differently for those than what you would do for league season? Uh, we said all along that these two games would be used, you know, as preparation for the league. So we'll prepare for these games exactly like we will do for a league game. Um, we prepared slightly different for the first three friendlies because they were taking a look at, you know, everybody in the squad. We've got 29 players, and we had a look at every player in them first three games. Um, we're probably going to narrow that down now to what what we think is our best 20 for the next two. Uh, but we will prepare in, in terms of you know, how we would prefer for every game so we'll prepare in the same way for these two and we'll, we'll see how we react to that preparation and, and how, it, how it influences our performance on the, on the weekend Excellent, well all the best of the season and no doubt we'll talk during the season as the games go by okay, Thanks very much Thank you Cheers